right, welcome back. And I thought we could start off with some donuts today. I'm sure you're pretty hungry. In this video, we're going to look at how division relates to fractions and decimals. It actually they are connected. So our story problem has Rachel having eight donuts to share equally among five people. Well, how much will each person get if we were to share this all equally? Well, we're going to look at two different ways to solve this problem. The first way we're going to do this is uh, using pitchers. And so these are not Cheerios, they're donuts. And so you can see here that we do have five donuts and three donuts. The five being, that well, each person's going to get one whole donut. But the problem is we have three extra donuts left over. But so Rachel's going to have to divide these three extra donuts into fifths. And the reason she has to divide into fifths is because there's five people. And so if we count all the fifths together, I'm sure that's a really grainy image, but uh, we get 15 fifths, 15 fifths altogether. And so now we can divide these up a little bit further. Well, each person's going to get three fifths of a leftover donut. And here's kind of the image there. So in the end, each person's going to get one whole donut and three fifths of a donut more. So please remember, we can do something with that fraction. Uh, three fifths equals six tenths. And maybe you know where I'm going here. This tenth, remember tenth? So we could actually convert that over to a decimal. So we could say six tenths. And so we can say now instead that each person gets one donut and six tenths of a donut or one and six tenths as a decimal. Now we can also divide. So pictures are one way, but probably the most practical way is to do some division. So we can take eight and divide it by five. And I broke it up like this. So we do know it's one, you know, five goes into eight one time and there's three left over. Now there's that remainder of three. And so remember that three has to be shared equally amongst five people. So we could write three divided by five or actually three fifths. So instead of using the decimals, we could say that it's um, one and three, you know, one remainder of three is the same as one and three fifths more. So each person can be getting one and three fifths total, one and three fifths of a donut. Now I wrote, I wrote in bold red, any division statement can be written as a fraction. Three divided by five, we can write as three fifths. Um, two divided by four can be written as two quarters. Uh, how about six divided by 10 can be written as six tenths. There is a relationship between division and fractions. I'm going to get you to try a couple situations here. So Jimmy has 79 meters of string. He plans to make five kites. Well, how much string is available for each kite? I'd like you to answer this in two different ways. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so in this problem, we have 79 meters of string and we're dividing it into five. Once well, five kites. So I need to know what 79 divided by five is. And so uh, I'll use a repeated subtraction method here. We can multiply by 10, that will get us 50, which leaves us 29 more. I can do it by another five, which we get 25, and that will leave us a remainder of four. So all together we have 15 meters with a remainder of four meters. So I want you to answer this in two different ways I said so we could write it as 15 and 4 fifths 4 meters uh, remainder out of 5 possible kites but remember we can also take this 4 fifths and change it into a decimal 4 fifths we can't get a decimal place out of denominator 5 so if I change that to a 10 by multiplying both top and bottom both numerator and denominator by 2 I would get 8 tenths so another way we could write this is eight tenths so we could also say let me use a different color 15 and eight tenths of a meter um, t for each kite all right and as our last example uh, let's say we have a four kilogram bag of peanuts costing ten dollars well how much does one kilogram of peanuts cost so how about you pause that and come back when you're ready all right, for this situation I have, I'm going to be dividing 10 divided by 4. And so maybe just to look at it this way, how many times can 4 go into 10 without going over? It can go 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8. And that would leave us a remainder of 2 left over. So 
in a sense, I have two dollars and two quarters. Now I'm dividing by four. That's where that denominator com comes from. This denominator is the same as that. Well, I don't, we don't write two and two, you know, two and two quarters as money. So we got to change this two quarters into something useful. And we need to do a decimal here. Now, what do we need to get? We can't go to tenths, but we could go to hundredths by multiplying top and bottom by 25. And so 2 times 25 is 50. So what is 50 out of 100? Well, that is like so. There's a decimal there, and I have $2. So in as an answer, each kilogram of peanuts will cost $2.50. All right, so in this video, we were looking at how division relates to fractions and decimals, and we've looked at a few real-world examples. You know, if you're, you know, I know you're not going to make making kites, probably, but you can see how we could use division and make fractions and decimals af out of the, the remainders there. And we use money. Money is always written as decimals with um, cents, so that's really important as a real-life example as well. All right, please remember, in life, math happens. Take care. Thank you.